All right, we don't have to grab these dudes. Man, I hope I don't drool my iPad. <laughs> I gotta grab. No, I'm grabbing. <laughs> no. Let me know if it goes in the back of your throat. Open your mouth. Hold on, hold on. All right, I finished the gummy lifesaver. No. I can talk normal. Okay, so we're gonna find a vertical asymptote and we're gonna find a horizontal asymptote for this guy. All right, first, vertical asymptote. That's the zeros of the denominator. So all you gotta do is take the dude, set him equal to zero, and solve it. So if I subtract one from both sides, I get three x squared equals negative one, which some of you guys who can see into the future see that we have a problem. Because if we divide both sides by three, and then we square root, we go, can't do it. There is no solution for this one. What does that mean? There's no vertical asymptote for this one. All right then, what about our horizontal asymptote? Now remember, for horizontal asymptotes, you're looking at the degrees first. What is the highest exponent of the numerator and what is the highest exponent of the denominator? Those are also known as degrees. So what's the degree of the top? One. What's the degree of the bottom? Two. Okay, so since this one is smaller than this one, we have a situation where we have a one over two. And remember how I told you guys how one over two is more attractive than a number like four over three? All right, whenever we get like an attractive situation here where the degree on top is smaller than the degree on the bottom, what is Zero. our horizontal asymptote? Yeah, you guys already said it. You didn't let me finish the question, you jerks. All right. If it's what? Can you finish the sentence? All right, if... <laughs> yeah. If... Shut up. Okay, if you uh, have a degree on the numerator that is smaller than the degree on the denominator, your horizontal asymptote is automatically y equals zero. Okay, uh, now let's do the next dude right here. Let's do our vertical asymptote first. The vertical asymptote first. What's that? Does it say graph? No, it just says find the horizontal vertical asymptotes of the graph. Are you paying attention? I don't think you all paying attention. All right. So I'm bringing the one over because I'm adding one to both sides, and then I square root both sides. What do you get? What do you get? Oh, one. One. X equals <laughs> plus or minus one. All right. So those are our vertical asymptotes. What about our hori asymptotes? Um, uh, what do we do? Okay. The degree on top. What is the degree on top? Two. Two. Dose. What's the degree on the bottom? Two. Dose. Hey, they're equal. Whenever they're equal, what are we supposed to do? Coefficient Take the leading coefficient of the numerator. And divide that by the leading coefficient of the denominator. And for your notes, I'm going to say this is LC of numerator. And this is LC of denominator. We get dose. And so what is the horizontal asymptote? Two. Y equals dose. You must write it like that because this is a line. Now, this is interesting. What would this graph look like? Now, we're not here yet, but I'm just curious now. At negative 1 and then at negative two, I'm sorry, not negative two, at positive one. Okay, I have two asymptotes. There's two vertical asymptotes. And you guys remember the rules about vertical asymptotes? The line can never go through a vertical asymptote. Never. And what about horizontal asymptotes? Well, sometimes, but not all the time. But this is also always true. Lines are always attracted to asymptotes. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six different like kind of quadrant things going on right here. Uh, this side will probably go like this, or you know, like this, or like this. I don't know which one. And this side will probably go like this, or like this. I don't know which one. But we can figure that out just by plugging in points. Now what about the middle? That's weird. It can go like this. It can go like this. It can go like this. There's a lot of weird things that can happen. Now if this is down here and this is down here, most likely it's gonna go like this, okay? But I don't know if this is all true because I haven't tested any points. I haven't found any y-intercepts, nothing else. But that's not what we're asked to do right here. We're just asked to find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes.